Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at ordinary least squares regression with dummy variables using stats models. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and generate up some random um, data. We want also to have in here uh, maybe three groups which are going to be modeled using our dummy variables um, and a group, some group zero or not is going to be omitted as our benchmark category. So let's go on and set up some sample equal to 50 um, groups in here we'll have something like mp dot zeros uh, in sample and we want them to be integers uh, groups uh, so here we'll have something like 20 to 40 uh, is going to be one uh, and then uh, groups in here and we'll say 40 to the end is going to be two and again every the zeros are going to be um, uh, not. So then let's say something like a dummy. Now we can do this with, um, oh, and I'm sorry, I don't have, I haven't uh, done my standard imports in here either. So um, insert below. Uh, we'll do um, import pandas as pd, oh, import num, numpy as mp, import. Um, matplotlib.py plot as plt. Uh, what else are we going to want? Um, import stats models.api as sm. Um, and I think we're going to need anything else in here. Yeah, we will need the weighted um, all right, so from from stats models dot sandbox dot regression dot predict uh, predict or st with standard deviation import WLS so for weighted least squares prediction uh, standard deviation okay and then again let's set up um, MP dot random dot seed of 42. So again, you guys are going to have the same data that I do uh, when we're running this. So run this. Um, now let's create up the dummy variables. Now the dummy variables themselves, um, we could do this using um, using NumPy to, to, to do some things, but that actually is going to be a little bit of a pain. Um, so let's do pd.get dummies. Okay, um, and we'll do our groups. Then we want dot values. And this will actually grab um, just our uh, NumPy array for our dummy variables. So then let's also go in and set up um, our line space for X. Um, uh, line space in here, zero to 20 to our sample. Uh, then we want our capital X is going to be what in dot column stack in here and we want X with our dummies um, and we want everything but we want to drop um, that first part because again in in this we do not want so for example we'll have categories of um, for 0 1 2 we don't want category 0 in this instance because it's not uh, useful to us. We also want to make sure that we have um, a constant in here. So for our intercept, um, then let's go on and set up a beta in here of uh, one, three, uh, negative three and 10. Then we'll also set up y true here is going to be np dot x and beta because um, again we're using we're using this to do the uh, matrix algebra in here just to kind of calculate up our true y values. Then let's go on and have some um, error uh, being put in there. So np dot random dot normal here uh, size is going to be in sample. Then we're going to actually make in some y values, which is our y true plus our error. 
Uh, and what didn't it like? Um, oh, whoops. This is... Um, this is going to be this. We should not have had parentheses. We should have had square brackets. All right, so that gives us our data. Um, I don't think we really need to inspect the data. Maybe, maybe I can show you the dummy variables uh, for those of you that haven't seen them before. So again, we have um, one and zero are going to be our dummy variables. Um, for this one, again, we dropped out two. Um, to do that, if we wanted to actually see the groups themselves, we can do uh, groups. And so you can see here, it's a zero, one, and two. We dropped out all of the twos in our set. Um, so let's go on and uh, grab our results. So our results here is going to be uh, sm.ols, because again, we're doing a least squares, y with x dot fit, um, and then res dot summary. Okay, so again, we see here our squared, we're not, our model's not very, uh, doing too bad. Um, our coefficients, again, are about what we had put in and predicted with a little bit of error. Now, we've already, in a previous um, episode, we had created up a function, and let me pull that up really quickly um, so that we can reuse that. Okay, so here is the uh, uh, plot compare program that we made up before, and it will go on and create um, some uh, some boundaries as well as some um, uh, so for some some error uh, some so kind of like our standard deviation on our errors, as well as giving us the actual data, our true prediction versus our predicted predictions. Um, so let's go on and run that and run that on our um, uh, on our data. We run this and we can see here that there is definitely a little bit of uh, deviation in our actual, the blue here is our true result and here we see that this red dotted line is our OLS prediction and we can see that it definitely it kind of has this cross line. It's relatively close but it's not great um, with that but again this is just something that we can kind of uh, play with and get uh, a little bit more of some comparisons out of the way. And it's a nice way to have just a little bit of a plot. Um, if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.